Hey there, uh, Mr. Montalvo, uh, here to talk to you or uh, share with you uh, Microsoft Forms, uh, which is a great tool uh, to send out to students uh, to enhance distance learning and uh, assess uh, students' understanding of, of content. <clears throat> In addition to showing you how to create uh, a quiz on Microsoft Forms, uh, we're going to be also taking a look at how to share those out and, and send those out to students. Let's take a look. So you open up Microsoft Forms um, from your Office 365. You can find Forms, open it up, and then we go to Create New Quiz. Now the difference between a quiz and a form is that forms can't be assessed. So these are great, forms are great if you uh, want to um, just get um, information from students, but if you wanted to assess them and assign a grade, uh, you would perform or create a quiz. So we'll label it test quiz. We can write a description, hopefully a bit more uh, than just that, right? <clears throat> uh, now we have a few different options as far as um, what we can design the questions to be. Uh, if you wanted a multiple choice question, you could try that here. Um, it provides you with two options by default. If you want to click additional options, you can just click add option right here. Um, in addition to that, uh, you can with you can insert media uh, by clicking right here. You can insert images uh, either from a Bing search, upload your own or from your OneDrive, or also um, if you want to create uh, how-to videos on each individual question or tutorial um, on a particular skill or topic, you can uh, link a video. Um, you can link YouTube video or a video from your OneDrive as well. Um, as long as you have a link, you can just copy paste that and add. <clears throat> Uh, another interesting uh, thing to take a look at is the points that you want to uh, assign uh, and this will give the student the total grade and it will auto correct um, when it comes to multiple choice questions. Uh, you can select multiple answers. In addition to that, um, you can, if you click uh, and enable the question to be required, then the student cannot submit the question, uh, rather the entire quiz without completing or uh, that particular question. Also here, uh, we have a few different options <clears throat> as far as shuffling. So the, the questions and the answer can, can, can be shuffled. Uh, you can create a drop down uh, menu as well. Math, uh, for math equations, if you enable this here, um, you can enter the equation. It provides you with all of the symbols that you would need. And on students end, they'd be able to um, take care of that as well. <clears throat> Another type of question is the text question. Um, you can create a long answer or a short answer response. Um, you can also uh, add the answer. So if it's a math equation, you can add the math equation there. Um, <clears throat> and if you disable that, uh, you can also create a subtitle. So some helpful hints uh, when it comes to uh, that particular question and uh, helping students on how to assess that. So let me take you to a, a quiz that's been completed already. So you can take a look at what this looks like afterward. <clears throat> uh, and in addition to um, Customize, you can also change the theme of the quiz at any particular time. <clears throat> so when you want to share this out, there are a couple of ways to share out the quiz. You click the share button and you can share it as a link uh, and anyone within uh, with a link can answer it, and that provides the option for anyone too. But if you wanted to share it to your class group, um, your class or a particular group, uh, by clicking only people in my organization can respond, this will prompt 
um, whoever's responding to sign in with their username and password prior to. And this will help if you want to make sure that each individual student is submitting their um, own responses to the quiz. You can also uh, select a QR code option. You can uh, embed this into a website or your, your, your class website. You can also share this as a template <clears throat> so that your colleagues uh, can use this uh, same quiz that you've created uh, and can customize it and share it out with their students and receive their, uh, their feedback, their responses. You can also share this um, to collaborate if you're working on a team uh, to have other teachers um, weigh in and, and help you um, with that particular quiz. <clears throat> the preview option is pretty cool because not only can you see uh, how it looks on the computer end, but also how students will see it on the mobile device. Embedded in, um, in many of Microsoft's options is the immersive reader. The immersive reader can uh, read uh, to students the directions, uh, the task, the prompts. Um, it can go, you can go even uh, more in depth by changing the size uh, for students, highlighting various parts of speech or grammar. Uh, and then the, the length <clears throat> uh, of uh, how much a student can see as they're reading to help them focus. And that's a whole other great feature in and of itself. Now, when it comes to the responses, this is extremely important, um, particularly for teachers on, on our end. Um, you can uh, take a look at the responses that students have given you. Uh, that's great because um, you can see, you know, what misconceptions your student had, and it breaks it down per question. <clears throat> you can review the answers by each individual student. Or by each individual question. In addition to that, you can open this up in Excel. Uh, and this will open up an Excel file um, with the grades that you can then uh, import into your, uh, your grade book. You can download this as a CVS uh, and import that. <clears throat> you can also print a summary and you can get a summary link if you want to share that data with, um, with a particular team uh, of, of teachers. And that's pretty much it for uh, Microsoft Forms uh, in regards to how to utilize it for a test. Um, please feel free to comment below uh, with any questions or any advice or feedback. Um, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe. Thank you. Take care.